Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today I want to talk about the Canon 90D and I want to go on about uh, filter modes, creative filters that are available like on this camera. So like your bit like your Instagram filters, that kind of thing, um, which are built into a lot of these types of cameras. Remember, I got a competition to win a Canon 7D, recondition one. If I hit 10,000 subscribers, just say all you need to do is enter by asking and uh, um, saying the question, who, when was the can first Canon 7D launched? And you got to inbox me via my Instagram to be entered. Um, so definitely enter that competition get to, and try to get yourself a new, well, a reconditioned 7D. So filter modes, to access those, basically all you need to do is go to uh, a few settings. So you've got this one over here. And when you go to this, click on your Q button. Now I am in film mode, so I'm gonna go back into photo mode. And this camera is touchscreen, so you can literally press the Q button and then select choose different filters. So you've got things like, so these are like your Instagram type things. So you've got your high definition render uh, art with a slight emboss to your image. You've got high definition art bold. So if you're taking pictures of like scenic and you want real vivid colors, you've got, um, you've got, let's, let's just flick through this again. Let's go down. Let's go a bit, it's a bit, let's just do that again. So let's go, oh it's a bit, you know, click on that one. You've got high definition of vivid. So if you're shooting night shots, you've got high definition standard, which is basically standard with enhanced color ratio. You've got miniature effect, so you can make things look, that's quite a cool thing. I've not seen that before, Teju. And I think that is quite cool. You've got things like um, toy camera, Stimulates distinctive colors, vignetting. So it gives like a vignetting effect. I, I don't particularly like that, to tell you the truth. I think it makes it look a bit contrived in terms of photographs. Then you've got like water paint, which is like a filter. Then you've got like fisheye, which is quite cool. You've got soft focus if you take pictures of cats or babies and things like that. And you've got like a grainy look if you want that kind of like high ISO look. And you can change this. You can change the contrast. You can change the mode in terms of like how many shots you want to take. Um, and you've got your single shot. So basically filters, you just click on that, choose your filter, and off you go. What else can you do? So if I put it in auto mode, uh, sorry, scene mode, you've also got uh, choose scene. So if you click on that again, so if I click on my Q button, select that, you've got different scenes that you can change. So you can, you've can you got like portrait, macro, sports, so these basically are dependent on what you're shooting. So if you do portrait group photos, you might want to click on. This is like an easy way of sort of taking photographs without changing all the various settings. Um, you know, you let the camera do the work. So if you're doing like landscape and you know you're going to go out somewhere abroad where you know you're going to take scenic shots, instead of like going through your manual mode and sort of changing various settings to get that, you, the camera will just enhance those landscape shots to get the better focus, the better sharpness and the better contrast and the better HDR color ratio in terms of your image. Same with group photos, same with um, portraits, and you can click on OK, and you can change bright. You can change some things on it as well. Um, you know, macro, for example, some of you might be keen. Um, um, you know, close, uh, macro sh uh, photographers, and you want to shoot like plants and stuff like that. Take you, you know, it's a bit cliche, but people do do that. Um, again, you know, close-ups, your camera will do much of the focusing. And it will, you know, do give you the best ratio in terms of light optimization. HDR control backlit. Um, this is quite useful if you're shooting um, maybe uh, vlogs and you want the you to be more prominent. And you, again, you don't want to do a lot of um, a lot of um, camera work. You can select this. Um, if you're doing like sort of vlogs and you're not very camera savvy and you just want to do sort of selfies by tilting this camera, this might be a useful feature for you. Okay, so um, they're useful these things depending on what you're shooting. Um, and there's a few others. There's these ones here as well. Night portrait, um, candlelight, um, night portrait, and handheld scene. So these are quite useful as well. Uh, again, the night one you might want to use in you know in the night settings, and it does require a, a tripod to get stability. Um, I don't particularly going to use those. Say truth, the food one's quite cool as well. Um, you've got a food one here as well, which um, you might want to use. A lot of you probably like to take pictures of food these days and put them on your Instagram. Um, you can do that. And this is Wi-Fi built, so you can take photographs via this and directly send them to your smartphone and upload whatever you w wish to do. I just personally think it would be much easier if this allowed me to have Wi-Fi and allowed me to have apps like Facebook, Instagram, and you know, Pinterest and things like that in the camera and I can upload it direct from this. 
um, you know, Canon, Nikon, Sony, you guys need to innovate, man. This is like, you know, this is great having these cameras with all these various fittings. Hey, but I personally think, I'm looking at this, and some people might be thinking this is really innovative, but I think this is really dead old school. Really, I should just select that, take a photograph, and it gives me the option from the camera to, up to upload to social media and TikTok. And also, this is film ratio, you know, uh, um, widescreen, etc. This camera should allow me to film um, iPhone, uh, uh, mobile phone ratio as well and be able to upload that to um, my, um, you know, smartphone and be able to upload TikTok. I think that's a big disadvantage for users of this now because you have to take the foot, film it, transfer the file via SD card or Wi-Fi and then upload it's too cumbersome you guys need to innovate this this is this these features need to go yes the filters are great but how many smartphones can do those filters that i've just shown you now so if you think that was innovative inbox me if you think that's a bit old hack inbox me um i'll be, I'll be quite interested to see what you guys think thanks for watching guys bye bye